Hey there, we're back out on the trail today. I'm on the Pioneer Trail. I'm going to go from Indian Ford, which is where I am now, and I'm going to go to Knight's Landing and back. So that'll be five, five miles. It's kind of the middle of the day right now, and eventually I would like to do Indian Ford to North Fork, Rec North Fork Recreation Area. I just have to have someone pick me up at the other end, but we are gonna start here, and we are gonna go tonight's landing and then back and then hopefully maybe tomorrow I will go night's landing to Indian Ford and back so that is the plan but as you can see it is a beautiful day it's in the middle of the afternoon it's supposed to be around 75 today and we are just going to take a nice little walk in the woods the pioneer trail is the blue blaze and on a lot of my videos I'm on Dunn's farm and it will match up with the Pioneer Trail. And I did that last week, but we will be on completely just blue blazes this afternoon. Well, I just got out of the gym. First time I've been back in the gym in a while. Need to make that a routine that I start being more disciplined with, but I am out here on the trail and I just discovered on all trails this feature and I don't know whether it's new or whether I just discovered it, but you have a contact list that will be notified when you're on the trail and they'll be able to follow and know when you get on the trail and off the trail. So for someone who is like me who does a lot of hiking on my own. I think that's a great feature. And I have added a couple people on my contact list so that they can keep track of when I get on and off the trail. And I have given them a point of reference. So I like that a lot. And there are a couple of things that are on there that I haven't noticed before that I need to do a little bit more research on, but we're putting that one to practice today. Okay, well, we have just come up to Knight's Landing Recreation Area. That's 2.5. And I was gonna sit and have a snack, but lots of mosquitoes out in this, in this area right here. And then there is the continuation, is continuing part of the trail that I'll hit tomorrow, hopefully. But I'm gonna head back this way to Indian Ford. Well, I've been walking at a nice little clip here, almost three miles an hour, but elevation is non-existing. And the pine needle floor bed is nice and soft to walk on. So I feel very fortunate and I love this trail because of all the pine needles and there's huge pine cones. If I come by another batch, I'll share it with you. But we should be coming up to a bridge or two coming up. I didn't film much on the way here, so I figured I would do it on the way back. So we are coming to a sign. Let's see what it says. I'll turn this around. Okay, so. Knight's Landing, 0.85, Indian Ford, 1.65, and we're at Buddington Branch. And so I am 1.65 away from the trailhead, and here's our first water crossing, heading back towards Indian Ford. So, let's see. That water wasn't a lot, but... Still, I like those little bridges. They have quite a few of them. They have another one coming up right here. And then they've got a really nice bridge coming up ahead of us. Okay, well we are coming up to, we're right at the midway point and we have a campsite in here. But you can head down that way 100 yards to the creek and get some water if you need it. 
and then this picnic area with the fire ring is the campsite and you've got your blue blaze so really nice doesn't look like anybody's been here but we'll head out this way the mosquitoes are bad today and get right back on the trail and continue 1.25 to the end of the trailhead. Here are some of those pine cones I was telling you about. Kind of big. Let's see. That's to my size 11 foot. I think that's pretty big. My foot and a pine cone. <laughs> okay, we're approaching that bridge that I said was super nice. This is called High Water Creek Crossing. You used to walk through that and a lot of people tearing that up. So I think that they are trying to eliminate some of the erosion. And this was built this year. And they've just done a great job maintaining this trail and improving it. That water goes all the way back. So I guess you could come over here and get some water. There's some water flowing that way as well. And uh, I didn't want to walk down that hill, but this is one of my favorite bridges. There's another really nice one going from Ellis Ford towards Dunn's Farm. That is really big and super nice and we will hit that at some point but not today look at that vine growing up that tree holy cannoli those are the kind of vines that ties tarzan i think would have swung on well we're under half a mile i've really picked up my pace i'm over three miles an hour uh, just simply because I wanted to work my legs out a little bit and work on my cardio some. I think you could actually run this trail without too many obstacles to trip you up and make you eat it, which is what I would do. So I may look into doing that and getting back into a little bit of running. I really like this trail because it is kind of easy on the legs. There's some cushion to it and I really like that. So we will be exiting pretty soon and that will complete my hike for today. We have a series of these walkways. I think there's three of them. There's a sign right here. It says Powell Walkway. And Really, the only one that seems to have any standing water in it is this last one right here, which would be the first one coming from Indian Ford. And the last one coming from that Landing. I want to say that if you are new to hiking and you're in the Clay County area or in the Northeast Florida area and you want to get out in Jennings Forest, it is very well marked. You can really see one blaze to the next one. So I'm coming up to a blue blaze right now. And when I get to this one, I can see the next one on the next tree up ahead. And so it's very difficult to get lost if you're paying attention to your blazes and you know how to read them. And I will at some point make a video on how to read the different blazes as far as change of direction and things like that for some of you newbies. But this is a beautiful trail. They keep it well maintained. Also, if you don't have the All Trails app, that also does a really good job of giving you the mileage and letting you know if you get off the trail. And they even have markers like this. Now, when you see this sign right here, you know you're getting close to the the end or the beginning, whichever way you want to look at it, because they always post those 
relatively close to the start of the trailhead. They've got maps at every trailhead, paper maps that you can take with you, which I would strongly advise, and make sure you have enough water. And for the most part, I've had pretty good cell service out here on this part of the trail. So really, no reason for you not to come out here and enjoy this. Take your time, there's benches along the way that you can sit and take a break on if you need to. Don't have to do the whole thing. You can go out a mile and come back a mile. Go out a half a mile and come back a half a mile. Or you can go at one end and get picked up on the other side. Lots of opportunities and lots of options. Here's an example of the blue blazes. See the top one is offset to the left. And that means we're taking a left turn. But I will do a whole video on that. If you're a regular hiker and you're already out here and you know the blazes, you really probably don't need to follow that one. But for those of you that are interested in getting out and haven't started hiking yet and maybe are a little unsure yourselves, that may help you get out here and enjoy this beautiful trail because it is really a great place to come out. There's lots of trails and it is absolutely beautiful. Well, just finished the trail. There were some people at the trailhead, so didn't want to videotape and make it awkward. But this is on the other side of the parking lot and just wanted to share it with you. It's a canoe run that people can come out and enjoy. I'm going to flip this around. So this is a canoe run. You can see me. Hi. But it goes off that way. Continues down over there. Look at the reflection in the water. So beautiful.